what's going on guys beastly gamer here today I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the gameplay that you see behind me this is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare this game will be released later on in the year and the trailer was supposed to come out in the fourth but it was leaked and so now we have a lot of information about this future Call of Duty game that's going to be released on next-gen consoles and I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things I saw in this trailer now if you haven't had a chance to see the trailer there will be a link in the description for you guys to check out that full length and make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think about it I wanted to uh, kind of weigh in a little bit because I, I've been hearing a lot from other youtubers about the negatives of Call of Duty and the fact that the brand itself is dead because of the past and I wanted to talk about that Sledgehammer is making a lot of changes to this game uh, we've been dealing with the same iteration of the previous engine for many many years uh, we've gotten very little change out of Call of Duty in the, the last five or six versions of the game and when I talk about changes in the past this is the changes I'm talking about they would go far enough to give you new levels slightly different weapons and new kill streaks that was it maybe a little bit of graphical polish but it wasn't really a noticeably different game if you look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and you look at Black Ops 2, the game looks very similar. You just got different weapons and different kill streaks. Now in Call of Duty Ghost, which is by far the worst Call of Duty ever made, you get a dog and slightly better graphics. And that's about it. I gotta give Sledgehammer props, okay guys? A lot of people don't want to acknowledge reality. And these are bigger YouTubers who don't want to acknowledge reality, which is the funny thing about it. The reality of this, this situation is this. We have an amazing looking game here. Now when I say looking, we're talking about the visual aesthetic. The game looks fantastic. It looks next gen. These guys are doing things in the game that we've never seen before. Obviously, they put a lot of effort into changing the game, literally, right? Uh, uh, Sledgehammer has done a lot of amazing things from the look of it that are going to change this Call of Duty from the past versions of the game in a big way. Not just this new engine, uh, it, the way that you're able to play the game. You're able to lay out cover in this game. So if you're running from an enemy, you can stop. If someone's shooting at you, you can lay out some cover, get behind it, and fire back. That's an awesome mechanic. You can turn invisible in this game. You got this cryo suit, which is very similar to the suit in Crisis that allows you to run faster, jump really far. Uh, you can do things like you have extra strength. You've got these gloves on in the game that allow you to climb walls, so you've got this new degree of movement that's never been in a Call of Duty before. Uh, you can climb up walls and get an advantage on, on the enemies. Who knows if you'll be able to shoot from the walls? Probably so. Not only do you have this cryo suit, but it appears that you're able to access a giant mech suit as well. And the mech suit has a Gatling gun on it. Uh, there's, it looks like a lot of different mechanics are being introduced in this Call of Duty. And a lot of people out there are basically shitting on this game before it has even come out. Now let me say this from my perspective. I've been saying for a long time that Call of Duty needs a change. It does. That you can't regurgitate the same game over and over and over again and expect the same amount of fans unless they're hardcore to buy each version of that game. After a while it gets stale no matter what. So we all agree that they needed to do something. From the visual aesthetic alone, they have done something. This looks like no other Call of Duty. It looks like a new, totally new type of game. And they're introducing new things. Uh, you've got these um, drones that you can control. You can throw out into the world. I mean, I can't go through everything with you guys. You can see through walls with your, and, and, and know exactly where to throw your grenades. It looks very entertaining. By far the best, well, the most entertaining Call of Duty trailer or release trailer I've ever seen. It's really gotten me excited. And uh, after Ghost, that takes a lot to say. Ghost really deflated me and I kind of had to force myself to like this game. Because it's a new version of the game. It's on a next gen console. People want to see Call of Duty on the next gen. So I started playing it and gradually became better. But in no way, shape or form is this game you know, uh, worthy of the title of a great Call of Duty game, not by far. This game basically regurgitated the same gameplay, the, the same idea as the previous Call of Duties with no change in sight. Yeah, you get a dog. Amazing. Uh, this Advanced Warfare game looks to change the game. And for those guys out in the world, like Broken Games HD, 
uh, you know, who I do respect, because usually he's on point. Some, some YouTubers don't like Call of Duty because it's Call of Duty, and nothing you can do in their mind can make them see the reality of the situation. This Call of Duty might be the best first person shooter ever made, but certain people see the name Call of Duty and it, it gives them a negative connotation, and it, it immediately becomes a bad game before you even give it a shot. At one point in time, Batman was considered one of the worst games. I remember when it was on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, and it was a terrible side-scrolling action game, and nobody wanted to play as Batman. He was boring, and it was crap. You throw him ranks, and it was just garbage, okay? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, play the Batman games, you know, Batman Returns. All this crap came out years ago, and it's terrible. And at some point, Rocksteady said, hey, Fuck what they're saying. Let's do something awesome. Sledgehammer just might be doing the same thing. And so if you ask me, give the game a shot before you shoot it out of the sky before it's even landed. I think this could potentially be the best Call of Duty game ever. I implore you guys to check out the trailer. I know there's a lot of things I missed. The trailer just came out today. But I'm excited about it. I'm optimistic because if we're not optimistic about these games, we're thinking in absolutes. And if you think in absolute, you expect nothing to ever change. You guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.